Usually when I'm on a buck track, Josh is doing the same thing on a mountain nearby. But impossible circumstances have kept Josh from tracking for the last three years. After a couple of exciting yet lonesome days of tracking, Josh joined us at camp. And for a few moments there, it was just like the November we used to have.
that buck, real nice buck, about quarter to seven, dusting the snow in it and uh, looked like he was just cruising for does. He made a bunch of scrapes, two or three rubs. He made no sign that he'd lay down, but all of a sudden I came to his bed, no snow in it, and walking tracks coming out and feeding sign right away. So I figured he was right there. So we had a nice wind cover, still do. I crept in, got from, I think probably 40 yards from before he took off out of there. And I didn't know, but he didn't run very far. I gave him 20 minutes and I came to, he was bedded down again, just probably uh, 200 yards from where I jumped him. And he came out across broadside. I seen him one quick flash, not even a full bound. And didn't see headgear, but I know it was him. And then I chased him for another five hours after that and put him up out of, I think, three or four more beds. Put him in a big, ugly swamp too far from the the truck to keep going so hauling to uh, get back before dark good chase today first day in the woods legs are all stretched out and hope my brother joins me later in the week and we can uh, get another one on the ground 10-4 It was like he's pissed off that he can't find a doe. That's all I could think, you know. I've never seen one. He never laid down, though. He kept moving. Oh, he, you know, he, uh, they feed and lay down. I think you guys probably know that. Yeah. And so he fed, and I'm like, he's going to be right here. So I crept in slow, and I saw him go, and then I just waited for 20 minutes. And then I cr he only went 200 yards and laid down again. And I didn't see him get out of that, but I heard him crashing through the beach. And that, and I never got close again. And that was probably 9.30, and I ran him till, actually ran him till probably 1 o'clock, and he crossed uh, down there a ways and I a long ass haul out there. You just saved me an hour and a half though, so thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Jeff Russell, will you take a cold handshake? Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. I really appreciate it. Good luck this season, see you guys. Looks like a good one. That one's way bigger and much fresher. Let's go killing.
big one. Yeah. He came right here. Yeah. Right big. Could be. They're in here. Oh, yeah. Well, there's uh, four sets right in front of us. Yeah, there you go. I didn't catch up to him all day till 150. And I look up and he's walking kind of at me a little bit, but, but like kind of quartering to me. Walking. And and I'm thinking that's the doe. Look behind him for the buck. And then I'm like, no, double check. That's not the buck. And it was freaking buck. Huge rack. And he comes by. He was probably 70 yards. And I shot at him walking. And I should have got him. It was a, I should have got him. And I shoot. And then I, sure you did, no, obviously. Yeah, I trailed him for a long way afterwards. I missed him four times. Jack of shells, shot at him running. He, he turns, he starts running right at me. And he stops at 40 yards, and all I can see is his huge ass head in his rack. And I put the bead right in his jaw. Boom! And he whirls, boom! And then, as it, it was 10 seconds after I shot the fourth time, I hear him grunt. Bap! And then he grunts again, bat. And what happened was he ran up. After I shot, he ran. He bumped the doe from his bed. And then I chased them until 3 o'clock. <laughs> big oh, buck. Big tall rack. Yeah. He was just as big as the one yesterday, if not bigger. Yeah. But uh, it was, the difference was the rack was tall. Yeah. He had a real tall rack. It was a ch it was an easy opportunity in Maine. And I should I should be holding on to him right now. Plenty of time. I'll be... That will haunt me till the end yeah, of my hunting days. But I'm, you won't sleep both I'm, in, oh, I'm in good mindset about it because, you know, I got my priorities straight now. But, uh, yeah, we do. But yeah. It's still, did not hear yeah. him. And then the worst part is I tripped on the brass and hurt my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's go tell him, go Gary. lesser note two tracks at my place that sounds great though right you know where the deer dropped last year yeah right on that road oh, right there right, same place Bucket of dough. What you, got there? you make an announcement about those i did you weren't listening oh, I wasn't. oh. Mm. Mm. I think they are. They think this is not hot peppers. Mm -hmm. Very good. You're getting to be a good deer hunter. When, like you just said a minute ago, you're not devastated when you miss. Yeah. Like, I missed a beauty last year, and two days later, or the next day, I shot that little one. Right. Yep. And I was happy with both, both encounters. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh victory to see one up here even if it's a tail uh you know i just dumped down behind the truck great big track and i was like that's not you know it's frozen but um there was another and there was another track right there with it and the other track was like um there was no snow in it but it looked really old so the two compared to each other made me say i'm like this one's a catchable deer i'm like it might take me all day but I, and i knew he was like that far ahead of me that it might take me all day so i just started hauling ass and he went uh, north, up over, there's a big mountain, and he went over the back side of it, and the snow was spotty in a few places, I lost him a few times, and then it would rain out of snow completely, and I was like, ah, well, he went this general way, and then find snow and find him again, and like I lucked into him like three times that way. There was this big water crossing at like one o'clock, too far, you know, too far from the truck, I'm like, she probably, probably shouldn't go over this. And then I found a nice seed of tree and kept going. And I leaned a gun against this root, that uh, tree that I kicked over against the root. And I I think I marked the spot on his GPS because he finally met does, uh, doe tracks. It was a uh, doe and a fawn. So I leaned it against it. And it, the woods were loud. Things were crashing all day. You heard that? Yeah. 
and I heard something crash enough that made me pick my gun back up, but I kept my head down still. I'm just about to take a step, and I look up, and I see a deer <laughs> coming, kind of quartering to me a little bit. And I was like, there's a doe, make sure, you know, get ready for the buck behind it. I'm like, no, make sure that one's not a buck. And he went through another opening, and it was the buck. So it's walking like this, and I was like, there he is, boom! And I, I rush it. He whirls a little bit, and he's quartering more to me. Did you think he hit him? Running. No, I, I didn't think I did. Yeah. He's running, quartering to me, boom, and then he straightens right up at me. And there's, there's no whips or anything in the way. It's mature woods, but there were trees everywhere. And it's like a cedar, like a low, wet spot. And he's running right at me behind all these trees, and I'm just seeing antlers and face and antlers and face coming at me. And then he just turns broadside and jams on the brakes. And that's when I got another shot, but it was just his head was in sight. Boom! And he flipped again, 180. And I got one more shot as he ran away. And, uh, and that was it. Crazy. And then, but then he grunts at me, and then I walk over there and uh, follow the running tracks. And then he stopped running after 70 yards, walked for five steps, and then started running again. And he ran right over a doe bed. The doe bed was fresh. Her track coming out of it was fresh. That's why he ran. And then they stopped running. saw them going. He ran as soon as I shot. Yeah. And then when he, but when he ran again, yeah, I think he either smelt them or what. And that's when he probably grunted, grunted twice at me. So <laughs> rub it in. So that was that was ten minutes to two. He was up on his feet, and uh, you know he turned around the track, come at me. I can only assume the track I was on was huge. Like, it was as big as deer tracks get, you know, and that's yeah. coming after tracing that one last year. No. It was a clear cut, but all the trees, uh, they, they planted cat spruce there. And uh, the cat spruce were all not ready to harvest, but not far away. Went through there, and then he made this big circle. And he, uh, did, and beetle, did he beetle. ever know you were chasing him? Never. No. No, even after I shot, I don't think he did. Because he was running at me, first of all, after I shot, and then he was grunting at me two seconds later. Never knew I was there. I never jumped him. He was just too far ahead of me. So he was, he was totally... In he must have... Uh, I think what happened was he'd gone, he had bedded up high, and he had just got up from his bed. Timing would make sense for that. And he was coming back to go smell, you know, go after the doors that he probably smelled. Yeah. And that's when I got my He was totally out. rutting and focused on the girls. And... Yeah. Oh! oh, yeah. Dang it. I should have manked him. No idea. <clears throat> If I had a scope, I think he might have been dead. If it was Uncle Gary shooting, it would have been dead. If it was Uncle Josh shooting, it would have been dead. What? You forgot somebody. No, I, was, I didn't forget anybody. <laughs> nice big tall rack. He didn't look that thick, but he... Tall a, rack and a big body. You know, he was, he was a 200 pounder. Yeah, big yeah. rutten. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, baby. What are you doing with the change in the seat in assignments? Josh would be pissed. Where, where were you? Maybe that means we're going to get one or something. That's right. He got a touchdown and it was like, he's at the 50. He's at the 40. He lost his cleat. <laughs> <laughs> Kept going. <laughs>
We was joshing out with snowmobile and there was a moose with a busted leg, wouldn't leave the trail. It was dangling. Oh. So we were on snowmobiles and we were like halfway into a loop and we, we had to go buy it. And and we we didn't want to run it. Yeah. And then it it would run and then it would turn and face you with the ears down. Oh. We're like, ah. I'm like, you just gotta go for it, Josh. Next time it runs, I'm like, keep going and like blow past it. And that's what we did. I still remember it. I'm looking at it as I'm going past, and it's like, you know, on the on a one lane road. Yeah. And, it was, oh, oh, and it was just all the breath coming out and the steam was all iced up on its back. I'm sure that one didn't make it. Something bubbling, Dad. We'll get one. Dang it. Eve sleeping and all that like she's supposed to? Yeah, she's a good girl. She's, uh, we just, it took a little while longer, but we had her up in her crib, up, which is upstairs now, away from Kristen, so Mama's getting a little bit better sleep. And she, uh, was waking up crying every morning at five, but she was finally sleeping through the night. This is this just recently, the last month or so. But now she wakes up, she makes a couple noises, and she's sitting there, you know. And <laughs> at, it's still it's still fairly early, but it's not, you know. Kristen was, Kristen had a long go of it, her waking up at night, hungry. But uh, now she sits there, so I'll go up and grab her, and she'll like latch on to you, like Gr Graham and Hudson never did that. She'll like hold you. I don't deserve this. Yeah. You must. Because you got it. Oh, yeah. She's a sweet, sweet girl. Yeah. Oh. Good job getting up. <laughs> Thank you. Like a ninja, wasn't I? Northwoods Ninja. Is that him? Look at this here. Yeah. Duclaw's down. Yeah. He's going downhill and Duclaw's are down. I think it looks small though, don't it? Yeah, it's definitely a smaller track. Dude, you don't have any chapstick, do you? Uh, I might even have stuck on something. Put your butt or your lips? <laughs> lips. Which ones? <laughs> Coyotes killed like all 50 deer that were in this patch of woods. Dude, that's the one I was on the other day. This is the biggest track. Let's catch them crossing around. No, what's that, like 8 o'clock last night? That's a big one when you first reaction at most. Right. Yeah, that's a big boy. The problem is jump that buck one time if it's the one from the other day he's gone i think so i think there's only so many 230 pounders around and he said in the same patch of woods i trailed him in the other day yeah but that was we got a couple days of distance now dude i almost killed him yeah he was right there that was cool when they walking out of the bed and then they're feeding like crazy you know you know they're right there Somewhere up here. 
spitting snow. Is it spitting or is that just coming off the trees? I think it's spitting. It smells just like a pumpkin. Not in a good way. Can't be healthy. But Can't. in a way that's very distinctly pumpkin. It's pumpkin fat. It's not pumpkin spice. Let's be clear. Like rotting like. pumpkin. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. That's fine. Apologies. Good pork chop last night, though. I guess that's what it is. You have any applesauce with it? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cat. It's pretty cool. But if you don't come out of there, this isn't a huge patch of woods. Just breaking day. I'm gonna say he's 211. 200 yards in, we start laying down scrape. scrape. Yeah. This boy's a killer now.
just does a do -si do and I think they're all heading this way still, so it don't matter. Okay, now we'll cross that row. What row? Stone row. I think they could be going across it now. Yeah. But whatever, this is shaping up to be a good situation. Plus, we're all over the tracks. So, you know, we're like up right now.
do it. It's right there, it's right there. Meh. Shot him again right there. Yeah. What was he? He was nice. So he ran down and stopped after the shot. Was he running away? He was like right there after I shot. That's why he shot. He was in his bed. He was bedding right there. He was standing in his bed, bro. So, no chance you hit him. I don't think so. No. Is this him? Yeah. He ran down there, did he? I don't know, I saw his toilet trail. It's all right, give me. Dude, I had him dead though. One of those two clicks. I heard it. Dead deer. deal the first shot he was running he turned and so I fired and then I ran I ran over a few steps so he was standing for both second shots no but like close broadside running well one was one was straight away like we talked about so I shot the first one he was twirling to run so I shot and then I ran over a few steps, and he was standing right there. Like 15 yards. You must have thought you were a buck. Oh, that's stupid. I don't mind missing. When I took the, the first one, like whatever, that surprised me. But then, so he was running for the first shot. Yeah, like he was running, and then I ran over. I saw him, expecting to see him like down here, and he was right there, thirty feet. He clicked at you. I mean, the gun clicked. And I, he wasn't. He twirled again. So that one, I guess they were both bang bang. The second click, though, he was running straight away, and like I had the people lined up. First one, you know, boom, just like, you know, that the second click though, that was a dead deer. It wasn't like, dude, we're making some noise coming up there. It's all fun and games until someone misses a deer. He must have been asleep or something. Boy, we grunted, so he probably thought he was a, we were a buck coming up. Dude, that's a perfect deer hunting morning if you killed him. Fairy tale. Oh, I hate that for you, bro. Big neck. Dude, we fooled him. No. That, that's that's no. twice this week. <clears throat> we should. We did everything we were supposed to do. We won the game, except for the shooting. I had the peep lined up on the back of his neck. That sucks. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like when you ran up, you ran through it. He must have been standing in his bed. What do you think? Did you see me swing up? Yeah, I knew you saw idea. Is it exciting? No, it's this whole thing's been a bad experience for me. Did you think I was shooting? Yeah. Yeah. It was obvious it was a buck. Yeah. Did you see the deer though? I might, I don't know, I might have. But you didn't see, like, no, I didn't get any good visual. <clears throat> I had, like, a lot of good visuals. Dude, you don't see him by far that clearly tracking. Like, running. Like, you might catch him once. Right. Yeah. Stupid, what time? It's like 9.30. Perfect. Are yeah. You spirits. How could you not be willing? You were kind of out. 10 o'clock. 10 past. I shot at him right at 10 o'clock. Right on the nose. Oh, dude. Dude, awesome tracking story. We came through that raging river, came up to his bay. We did everything right on two deer this year. We did everything right. Won the game. The impossible game for the rest of the day. You have to get one out. See what this other track does. And I can see if he's on top of the other track. You gotta be careful, you got the right deer. Dude, it'd make more sense to me that that's him. Cause he ran down that skid trail. Where's the other bounding track here? Is the other bound, the bounding track here? There's no more bounding tracks here. The way you were aiming for the runaway shot had me surprised that you were all of a sudden over here. Don't 
Hey, don't step on anything. <laughs> oh sorry dude. <laughs> sorry. Who was he? He's on that ridge. He's dropping. I dropped him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's your idea, boy. Let's be careful now. right there. He <laughs> did it. You see that? Oh dude, I'm sorry. I'll give him one more. Take a step back. Sorry old boy. How'd you see him? He came. He was kind of coming across sideways. So I bumped him like. No, no. He was. He was coming like this way. I don't know. That's the same deal. Down towards us almost. I just saw a flash. He was dark. I thought it was a moose at first, and then I saw him, and then I just dropped down like this. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's fucking sound okay. correct. Dude, that definitely made the situation better. Big definitely made the situation better. So he was coming this way? He was coming th like this. Look at his track right there. I don't think that's my fuck, dude. There's Direct been two running in here. We'll dress him off and we'll go follow yours down there. I mean, I don't know. I'm confused. Pick him up, I want to see you. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. This is me. I'm going to enjoy this moment. Look a nice rack. Once we, once we lift him up. Nice long time. Dude, I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough to shut. Dude, I'm dead serious. We'll tag him. Let's keep going. No, maybe just. We'll see. I don't want to hold him up because I can't see the other side. Are you going to grab him or what? <laughs> yeah. I got oh, dude. I've never felt bad after killing a buck. You look like a uh, sheep on the <laughs> Well, they can't track. That ain't your idea, judging by the hoof on him. That's the other thing I was looking at, too. Like, I just think the buck were on it. I mean, I might surprise you, yeah. He ain't a 200 pounder. He's got nice time. Yeah. I mean, but he was, you. he was kind of trotting a little bit like he was. Dude, that's just it. You get in with a deer. You just get in with him. Get right in there with him. Dude, let's see what he is, huh? Can't even yeah. tell if he's an eight or not. Looks like he's an eight. on his antlers. Yeah. 
do this on the buck I shot it. Nice eight. That's not the buck I, I don't think it is. That was a nice one, dude. Look at tines on them. Son, he's a nice one. Yeah. Well, that's why he dropped. That's the exit. No, that's the first shot. Huh? That's the first shot. The exit is right here. Right there. I basically missed him. I basically missed him. Got a gunk in his eye. That's a nice deer, yeah. There it is, dude. Nice thick rack. Ah, that could be the one I hold him up like that again. That could be the one. I... Dude, we gotta go figure it out. Dude, he's pretty nice. Dude, he's yeah, he's fuck eighty. He's more than one seventy. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe that. We had a few different options of tracks we found before daylight. We took this one, got on him just before seven, took him for three hours, crossed Raging River back there, and then came to his bed and tracks coming out. But then he slowed to a walk. Josh was in front of me, he was a shooter this morning. And uh, and all of a sudden he swings up and starts shooting, and he jacks a shell, and then he, his gun's clicking, he jacks another shell, click. A buck was standing in his bed. What was it? Ten yards away? Yeah. And then we were trying to figure things out. And Josh started walking back to the bed to figure it out. That was my suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I stayed here and I see this nice buck coming across the side of the ridge deer. And I dropped down on my knee and aimed right behind his shoulder and hit him right in the... <laughs> Ear. Right in the face ear. of the ear. <laughs> no matter how you come. Yeah, nice buck. On a good fresh track in snow, and I was gonna have a teary moment, but I'm not gonna. I'm good. Okay. Good hunt with my brother up here in the North Country again. Buck down. Been a while. Gotta let the old timers know. Yeah, three years since I hunted with you. Yeah. And uh. Last time I hunted with you, geez, we took that yeah. eight pointer right off that top, right over there. Yep. Half a mile away. Yep. I reckon we should nice spot. let the older brothers know we got one down there. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Let Uncle Gary and Dad okay. Dad know we've done it again tracking. Come here now. You led the way. Pass you there. No, I really don't think we should with them deers around here. Maine. <laughs> That's why you come to Maine. Dude, we gotta. I know this trail. I know this trail right here. We gotta go figure out if y'all buck this red grass buck here. or a different buck. Yeah, I think it's a different buck. We'll figure it out. Is it makes things easier. Dang, dude, why couldn't this be your buck? I'll take a walk with you. Huh? I thought he was a little bigger based on the track, but. I don't remember. Whew. 
coldest steep ever. Dude, it ain't you ain't seen nothing yet. Really? Oh, it's bad. We're taking them out of a mountain hole. Yeah. That was fun, man. Yeah, it's way better that you kill them. <laughs> there it is. Um, you know, we trudged around swamps the rest of the day. Yeah, it's stupid. I would have been pissed. Yeah, grab a grab a pole here. What's that, you want? Just take them all the ways here. Let me get out. Just bring him inside the road and tell him he's four tenths of a mile in. Big buck down! We got a mile to pull him still. He's down in the valley. Who got him? Did ya? Yeah. That's me. It's worse. He missed, missed it first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> good job, guys. Where's the old man? He's not here yet. So I look at it and it says eight point, probably one eighty, and I'm there. He always says buck down. I said, what did they jump it and they know it's going to weigh 180 and it's eight point? Text and I start to scroll back, scroll back, and all of a sudden it's buck down. I'm like, oh, f <laughs> so I pissed back down. I just got back. I was teasing. He's a half mile down and we pulled him probably out of a hole, about four tenths of a mile. And he's like, Uncle Roy dragged for you and dad so you can like get on camera 100 yards from the road. Yeah. I'll do it myself. <laughs> So tell, tell Uncle Gary the story real quick. So we cut the track. Well, we drove down here because we're good deer hunters. We're like, we'll see if you cross here first. So there's a track up here across. I'm like, ah, it's a little one. So we go back, park there, come down through, we cross right where we said it was a little one. <laughs> same <laughs> gun, same gun. You could have picked it up there. You could have picked it up there. So then we took him in, and he, he, wasn't, he wasn't slowing down or nothing, just kind of cruising. And then he got into a pocket of deer over here same place two years ago that I forgot to load my gun after I come out of the bush. So I'm like, I'm loading my gun this time, slide it in. And we get up to the top of this bank here and we come to his bed. And there's flurries in it. So we're like, well we didn't jump him. So a few what were they bounding tracks going out yeah. for a hundred feet and then he stopped. It was almost like he was like he's like I can't be laying here this pussy out there and he bounds off. He's like wait I am kind of tired. Yeah. So we keep going, me and Jeff's grunting, and I come up this little rise, kind of something like this, and I look into the skid road, and he's standing there like 20 feet away. So I swing Looking around, at you? look, staring, full alert. It turns out he was standing in his bed, his second bed. So I swing up, and uh, he turns off, so pow! Jack another shell in, and I run out onto the skid road expecting to see him, you know, 100 yards down. I'm going to take a Hail Mary. He's standing there like 30 feet again, standing there, staring at me. So, same thing, I'm swinging up, and he starts to turn, and I go, Get it on him quick. I'm like, okay, I forgot to put my clip in. Coming out of the, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I forgot to put my clip in, but I didn't. So, Jack another shell, and he's still, he's 50 yards at this point. Nothing in the way, but running straight away, which is like, you know, what you want. Jack. Yeah, yeah click again so Jeff comes over Bad. Oh, that was so weird so then we're standing there and so I saw him again or I saw a deer I'm not positive but it's him again right it's probably that other one yeah and he's probably 80 I got Jeff I can see him so he Jeff's like we should figure out what happened because there's been multiple deer like we want to make sure we're on the right one so, so I tell Josh why don't you go back he's like go back to the bed I never saw the bed. I just stepped right over it, the second bed. So I go up the skid road, 20 feet, and pow! <laughs> <laughs> and I turn around. The old go check the bed trick. <laughs> I turn around. Jeff Boom. <laughs> I was like, mad, mad as me. Yeah. So he came across broadside, 125 paces. Boom, and I saw him drop. I turn to Josh and I go. <laughs> Figured out. We didn't know if it was a different we deer. It was a different deer or not. Yeah, Josh is looking so at I the rat. Immediately made it better because I was not happy. I'm like, I don't mind missing, but to have my gun screw yep. up, like yep. that's Stupid. that's frustrating. And so having him shoot a deer was great.
and then we backtracked it and it was my buck and he went he bounded down and then he did like a pee and came back came back around yeah why don't you right up front front buck down redemption buck down that was my first i've never felt like that after shooting a buck it was like oh dang why couldn't have been my brother uh, but then Josh said, he goes, it made it way better that you got him. Because if we had to go trudge around in swamps for the rest of the day and never see him again. I would have been so pissed if the day ended with me dry firing, not really, really but. Oh, oh, goddamn shit. You might have had pre premature ejaculation on that. I had premature. It's been a while. It's been so long, I, I forget how get tied up. I can't control <laughs> it like I used to. Nice one, huh? Oh, oh yeah, he's a beauty. A oh, beauty. Oh, he's got a big head. I don't think he's got a short nose on him, like Josh's oh, button. Yeah. Show Uncle Barry where I popped it. Can see right there. So that's the finishing shot. Oh, okay. We need one more. That's the killer shot. I mean, the first shot right there. Boom. That'll do it. And then you can see his neck is broke. Exit there, too. I think ah. he tripped after my shot and broke his neck. I think that's my idea. That's why you got the old, hey, go check out his bed. All right, he's gone. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Jace was so mad at me. He yelled at me, literally. He goes, I got him. I got him, Jace. He goes, why didn't you let my daddy get it? Just like that, like mean and mad at me. I was like, so you protect your dad. And what did he say? Because he was over checking a bed. <laughs> he did say that. Because Danielle, he did say Danielle was on too. <laughs> I was telling Danielle, she's, she was laughing. I'm like, we're having a... Like, oh, good. It sounds like a good day. It was a great day. A great day. Sometimes, and we had these thoughts too, whenever you first get on a track, he'll go like 100 yards in a straight line, and you know he's going to keep going for four miles, and you'll never catch him. Like, that's the feeling. And then he starts getting into other deer, and there's more deer sign, and they start, the track starts swirling. Made a rub. Like, he could, hey, he fed, he fed, he fed, he fed quite a bit. He, you know, he could be right here. With this buck, were, then those, were there many screams and rubs along just, the way? He, just one, one place, yeah. he thrashed like three trees all in one spot, and yeah. pawed the ground all in one spot like he was just... It was where he uh, smelt uh, them on the deer. That's yeah, where his man yeah. came into play. They'll go straight line for a mile, yeah. doing nothing but walking. Then all of a sudden they make a scrape, and then a hundred yards later there's more deer tracks around. Yeah. It's like they, as soon as they smell them, they're like, Woo! Let me scrape and go walk over there. There weren't See a lot of deer in there, play. but there was a few and there was some old tracks. It was cool, there was one spot where you could see a doe had peed under the snow and he stuck his nose right down into the snow and he had antler marks. Really? Oh, snow. Yeah. Oh. Did he take you through any thick stuff? Not real uh, bad. Not real bad. There were some places where it was like hardwood whips growing right next to each other so you could see through it but going through it, you know, you know yep. weaving. He went up a, lot, a bunch of like real steep stuff where you, you know, you're reaching for the pole of the tree above you and you're grabbing it at the base of the ground and you're pulling yourself up. Some oh, wow. Steep stuff. And then you go up the top of that and Josh and I are like, what a bastard. And he turns and goes right back down and back up again. Same side? Or back down the opposite side? No, same, same side. side. You turn like you know where he was going. Well, he'd get up. It was really on the edge of a cutting. Like to, at the top was a cut and, and he'd go up and then he'd run like you couldn't like look over and see his track so he'd get on the edge of the cut and maybe 30 40 feet sniff and see and then come yeah there. something yeah. like that you yeah. think he knew you guys were on him no 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 dude he he um i was telling dad and uncle gary the buck i was on day before he, the one i missed there was two different places where he went up and he sent checked the whole cut and just by standing there with the wind in his face yeah. He, like there was a cutting, he going, 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 went to the cutting, stopped, planted all fours, and then turned and left. And he did it 
if the clear cut with those big cat spruce trees, well, you haven't been there. But that clear cut that you can see from a topo map, and then he did it on the cutting that um, I tracked those deer to uh, two or three years ago. That are. Um, it was a fun day. Oh yeah, it sure was. And you got them. <coughs> and I know with you two, it don't matter who shoots them, you two together, just as happy. Well, oh, I prefer. I, I would have been happier both, if I got We were both rooting for Uncle Josh this morning, but you, uh, I said to Jeff, because I wanted him to make sure. I'm like, you know, I'm pumped, right? He's like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would have rather shot him, well, you know, <laughs> but. I said, me too. It's a great experience for brothers to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was great. But then, like I said, if we ended the day on me having a malfunction on my gun, oh. and that buck running away, that would not Not just running away. Yeah. It's like running away, like, into a shit hole and then tracking yeah. before I was being tied for tomorrow. You know what? <laughs> hey, she's, she's like, Shovel? Yeah, I'm like, oh. Shovel is a good guy. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> That is so cool. So then, uh, basically, and when Hudson was born, and Hudson would be in wow. diapers, like on top of the dog, crawling into Moose's bed. Since, yeah. Since the beginning. Since been, every yeah. time Hudson sees Moose, it's like he hasn't seen him for. Yeah, you know year. how a, you know how a dog goes crazy when he sees anybody. Hudson's like that with dogs. With dogs. Yeah. yeah. He is. If he had a tail. Well, the best of two cats, you tie their tails together and throw them over a clothesline and watch the action then, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to have to try that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to do it all the time. It was a neighbor's cat song. Oh, yeah. God. I wish Roy was here to tell some cat stories. Oh. <laughs> you tell him that I don't one. have any cat stories. i got a few shovel stories. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that part of it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> You guys ready to eat? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's quarter to six. That's amazing. What time do we usually get back? What's, what time what? It's quarter to six. What time do we usually get back? About quarter to six. Yeah. 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 And then you're going to do everything. And yeah. Do a full day. It's way better to kill deer than not kill deer. That's how we should be doing it. That's how you should kill a deer every day. Someone should. Yeah. Not a green one. Not go home, spend some time here just doing what we're doing. Come on, man. And today we got to hang up a nice buck. Nice buck. Nice one. That's one of them nice ones. Let me get it. That buck today, like when I walked up to him, my first impression was he's 180. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, maybe he's a little bigger. I see. When we first saw him. No, I didn't think so. And then we stretched him out. Yeah. And I thought his rack was. When I first saw I thought the his rack, rack was smaller. Yeah, when I first saw the rack, I thought it was but smaller. That's why I was like, I think this is a different buck. But then you held him up, and you got a picture it. Like when the buck's looking at you, he's got his head kind of tilted back a, yeah. little, a little bit. Like, yeah. um, and so that's what. And for a few moments there, it was just like the November we used to have.